Welcome to PC Woodskits Tech Talk. Today we're looking at Ubuntu 10.04 Lucid Links Review Part 2. So when it comes to software and installing things, customizing what you want, take a peek first under the uh, Applications option on the menus to see if what you need is not there already. Because this isn't necessarily like Windows, things are organized a little bit differently, right? But there's lots in there. There's lots of productivity tools and everything that you need out of the box to get yourself up and running. So you don't need to necessarily go out there and start searching and installing things. Uh, first thing to do is to check here. Now, the Ubuntu Software Center, which I'm opening up here, has been revamped. They have uh, updated it, of course, made it more slick, easier to use. And it's organized, of course, by different types of categories or departments, they call them here, so that you can select what it is that you're looking for. Personally, myself, I uh, like to do use the search feature here on the top corner, and I just type in what I know I'm looking for. Compiz, for example, if I'm searching for adding uh, the special effects and enhancements, the visual enhancements that uh, um, Ubuntu has to offer, I can find that, select it, install it, and then um, test it out and see, uh, see how it looks. So here's an example, the uh, Emerald Theme Manager. Uh, if you want to install themes, the Emerald Themes, the skins, and the uh, different types of uh, look and feel, uh, that's how you install it. You just select it, click on Install, put in your uh, password there to authenticate and allow it, and um, let it install, and then click on the menu at the top, and then you would see it there. Okay, and then you'll be able to access that uh, option. So that's how you install things here easily. Okay, and of course, what I found that was not necessarily easy was installing the Flash because I'm using uh, an AMD machine and the Flash uh, plugins are third party in order to get that to work. But anyways, when it comes to appearance, setting up your themes and stuff like that, under the menus, there's a theme um, manager, the appearance area that allows you to select of course, predefined templates and layouts and stuff like that here that you can see. If you don't like that color, for example, that I've just changed it to like a brown sandy tinge there called Radiance, you can always go in here and change and choose different types of um, uh, checkboxes, color schemes, uh, borders, and things like that. And the beauty about it is that you can download um, pre-made themes already. There's a, There's a website that I'll put a link to in, in the uh, video description box that you can go directly and download themes for Ubuntu and they come ready to go. Okay, so f these are pretty good though, I must say. Uh, I mean, I like the oxygen one here, the blue one, so I'm trying to set up a blue theme, for example. Uh, the mouse cursors, well, that's not very uh, abundant, like the amount of choices that you have, so you can download some as well. But they, at the end of the day, you know, you can have yourself uh, with a nice... A different color scheme and different menus, different uh, icons and so forth. Everything can be customized. Now, another thing that I wanted to point out is the um, Ubuntu uh, Rhythm Box player, the music player here, okay, under sound and video. That one's new. Uh, first thing that uh, I noticed is that uh, MP3 plugins were not installed, which is kind of odd. You think that that would be right off the bat in there because, um, you know, a lot of people have MP3s, but uh, no problem. You just click it, install the add-on, and then you're set. There's an Ubuntu One uh, music store here that's new. It kind of looks like an iTunes uh, type of thing, and that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to mimic something, a light version of iTunes in Ubuntu now. Uh, you can hook up your iPod in here as well. There's some support for that as well, so, um, uh, you know, transfer your songs and stuff like that. So, yeah, there's uh, limited support. It's, it, it's not like it has all the major artists and stuff. This is more like for entry level, you know, beginning artists and stuff like that, you know, that uh, trying to give them a chance to get exposed and get their music out there. So that's what the Ubuntu One Store is all about. Um, next thing I'm going to talk about in my part three here is more about networking, the chat, all of these other options that we see here, the 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 connectivity aspect of Ubuntu 10. Okay, so I hope you enjoy this video and thank you for watching.